Welcome back to IGN Live from Gamescom, and we are about to get a live gameplay demo of Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm joined by the team behind the game. Jim, gentlemen, welcome to the IGN stage up Thank here. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, I know you guys are going to jump into uh, a couple matches real quick. Uh, give us a general overview. This is a Dragon Ball fighting game, uh, which at first glance, uh, the first thing you notice is that it looks amazing. Yes, it looks exactly like you. watching an episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this game graphically, we've surely reached a new steps. Uh, uh, yeah. Clearly, you can see that, as you said, it's basically playing a Dragon Ball anime episode. Right. So, which is, I mean, personally, and I think it's the case for many, many fans around the world, it's like a childhood dream that comes true, basically. Sure. Um, you've always wanted to trigger just incredible attacks with your favorite characters with this kind of graphical identity. Like I've never, I don't think I've, I've seen another game that looks this much like <laughs> its source material. Like how did you accomplish that? Did you have to uh, invent new techniques in order to? So basically, I mean, the, the, the main answer to this question is the fact that we are working very closely with a studio, a very famous studio called Arc System Works. Right. Uh, so they are very, very famous for their expertise in 2D fighting game mm -hmm. and for the graphical identity they managed to create for the title. Uh, so we really thought that it would be a perfect fit for the Dragon Ball brand to have this kind of graphical identity. I see. Um, and then graphically speaking, so they are using a kind of technical um, stuff called 2.5D graphics, mm -hmm. meaning that you know, like the moves of the characters are actually 2D, so they can only move left and right. Sure. But the character themselves are made out of 3D models. So you can see them like front, like this. They mm -hmm. can turn around. They can have all these kind of different movesets that wouldn't be possible with only pure 2D graphics. I see. Wow, it's really interesting. So we know it's an absolutely gorgeous fighting game, but tell us a little bit about the mechanics. Is it true that you kind of borrowed uh, Marvel versus Capcom's control scheme? Or were inspired by that? Or? Yeah, that's actually the, the, the genre of game, which is called three versus three mm -hmm. fighting game. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you are, you are doing your team of three characters. And the really interesting thing about this specific kind of gameplay is the deepness that it brings to the fighting experience. Because, I mean, you cannot control only one character, obviously. You have yeah. to, to have skills on different, uh, different movesets and different uh, playability. And you can also mix the different fighters to do your own combination of fighting styles mm -hmm. because obviously they all have their own way of fighting, their own special abilities. So who's the better player over here? Mm -hmm. He's the one <laughs> who's on the left. I think you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so obviously you're going to have a bunch of uh, characters that are going to be familiar to Dragon Ball fans. But what about the uh, stages and the environment? So those are the locations also going to be something that fans Yes, will exactly. So here you can see the very famous uh, Cell Game stage, uh, which is from the, the fight that uh, the heroes are doing against uh, Cell, so which is one of the main bad guys of the series. And as you said, and it's a good point, I mean, uh, on top of the graphical identity, the game is really faithful in its content also. So you can see, for example, all the characters, the way they move, the way they speak, the stages, everything is so faithful and so true to the original masterpiece. Mm. What about uh, voice acting? And voice acting also. So we have uh, Japanese and English uh, voice acting, mm. and they are both the same as the anime. So people can really re-experience this old Dragon Ball feeling yeah. and this kind of immersive experience. So uh, worldwide, uh, you can... The Japanese, uh, the Japanese language track will be included in the Western release. Section? Yes, that's exactly. Cool. Because cool. we I do always appreciate that. Yeah, th that's the same. I mean, we knew we know that most of the fans. I, I, I mean, many fans really enjoy these Japanese voiceovers. They feel it's more, you know, faithful to the original original masterpiece, um, especially in Europe. So, for example, in the U.S., they would prefer English voiceover yeah. as that's a specificity of their, their markets. But in Europe, most fans really like the Japanese original voiceovers. That's interesting. So in fighting games, uh, the character roster is very important. People always want to know about the characters. Uh, have you announced the full roster yet? Uh, that's something we are not revealing, but okay. so far we have a total of 13 characters mm -hmm. and we have already some really, really iconic, uh, iconic fighters. And the interesting and important thing to keep in mind when talking about the roster is the fact that there's no clone, I would say. There's no two characters playing the same and feeling the same when you get your hands on a controller. Um, so 
that's why it's requiring a lot of work for the studio to build all those different move sets and things that are really faithful uh, to, to the anime sure. itself. Uh, and it looks like there's also environmental damage yes. to the stages that, yes. that happens you as, have as a good the fight eye. plays on. Good eye. Yeah. I, I, mean um. I have an eye. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. In this, is, this is part of the really cool and exciting features that are in this game is, as you said, the environment environmental damage and the way you're making the environment change depending on the attacks you're triggering. So for example, if you manage to um, <laughs> if you manage to, to guard an attack, sometimes you can even throw it in the background and it destroys a house or, or whatever and it stays during the whole fights. So that's a pretty good feature that a lot of fans are already praising um, about this game. So at the top of the screen we have the health of all the fighters. Uh, tell me about yeah. the meter at, at the bottom of the screen though. So at the bottom of the screen is basically your energy gauges. So that's the, that's the stuff you're using to uh, trigger the different attacks mm -hmm. and even to use some other um, moves such as uh, instant transmission, for example. That's part of the Dragon Ball universe as we've just seen on the screen. Mm -hmm. So you can like disappear and reappear behind your opponent. Uh, but that's also using this, this power we can see uh, at the bottom of the screen. So the higher, the higher you get that number, the uh, bigger attack you can perform? Exactly. The higher you, you, you get the number and, and the bigger... I mean, y you can have some kind of finishing moves, but it's only possible... This one, for example. That's it's only cool. possible if you have... <laughs> <laughs> it should be the one. That's the finishing move. Yeah, so we, you can <laughs> even see. So it's also a very, very good example of yeah. environmental damage because you're actually kind yeah. of destroying everything that's... Also, a stage where you're almost destroying the whole planet, and then it's all about lava and, and volcano. Um, but yeah, to come back to your question, the, the more you have th those those power uh, gauges, then the more you can access to powerful attack and, and finish. Is there a story mode? Yes, indeed. And as a matter of fact, we've just announced it, and we've just revealed a first teasing video um, included in the the the, the, the trailer we launched this morning. Mm. Um, so we cannot reveal that much information at this stage, but basically we can already say that it will be a new, original and exciting story. So different oh, from the original, uh, you know, uh, Dragon Ball scenario. Mm. Um, and it will involve um, the, the androids, uh, especially Android 16. Mm. Um, so we're really, really looking forward to sharing more, informa uh, more information about that because it's like a really important feature and mode uh, of the game itself. That's very cool. Uh, so you were telling me before we got started, you took the game to Evo, is that right? Yes, exactly. And you got some yeah. good feedback yeah. from the competitive community? Yeah, definitely. Um, so <laughs> generally speaking on this game, our objective and, and the way we're approaching competition and potentially eSport is that we don't want to, I would say, to impose the game to the fighting community, if you mm. see what I mean. We first want to let them play it, let them enjoy this experience and gain some grassroots legitimacy from the fighting game community. Mm -hmm. And so far, I mean, so far so good on the game. We revealed uh, at E3 the game with the first build and people were already, I mean, going crazy. Sure. And, and they wanted to see this game everywhere at uh, eSport and competitive uh, events. And indeed, as you said, at EVO, uh, we ran our first competition on the game and it went incredibly well. I mean, even if it's not released yet, we've seen players uh, doing some incredible moves and even a pretty legendary comeback. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of thing we're definitely looking into it, d doing like a more a broader competitive approach. Mm. And this Friday, actually, we even have our first ESL tournament. Oh so cool. this Friday afternoon, uh, with even a really like exclusive and world premiere announcement, mm. so be sure to 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 attend yeah, this. Yeah, we look forward to hearing more about that. Uh, what about online features? So online features, yes, because I mean we do know that today people want to compete online. They, they want to fight. They want to enjoy the game with other players around the world. So we revealed a few things uh, so far, especially what we call uh, the party match. Uh, which is basically like a really, really interesting and, and fun feature. So as you can see, the game is a three versus three, but in this specific mode, you are actually six players, and each player is controlling one character. 
Oh, cool. So every time you're switching character during yeah. the fight, you're also switching the player. So your teammate is going to take the lead mm. and be the one fighting, and he's going to fight until he dies or decide to switch that's again character. So that's, I would say, a more fun and casual way to enjoy this, this great fighting experience. Is there uh, voice chat supported? I'm just wondering, is there a way to communicate with your team yeah, members to exactly. know when to switch characters? Actually, there, there's a way, and it's a pretty, pretty fun and interactive way. You're using what we call the stamps. Mm. So it's, to make it simple, it's like a, a, an image of coming from the Dragon Ball universe. It can be a character doing like a special pose or something. Mm. And each stamp is associated with a specific message. So during the fight, you can use those stamps to communicate with your teammates. So for example, if he's having a hard time beating the enemy, you can use a stamp saying, hey, come on, switch with me, I'm ready to battle. Mm -hmm. Or you can criticize him or congratulate him if he's doing a, a good job. So that's a really nice way to, I mean, keep the fighting experience, but add this kind of like communication and interaction between players. Sure. And you have two betas coming up, right? Both open and closed? Yeah, exactly. So we have, first of all, the closed beta coming uh, mid-September, so 16 and 17th. Um, so this one will be mostly about testing the gameplay, the balance of the characters. So for the development team, it's really a way to see if there is some adjustments that needs to be done to make the game really, really balanced. Um, and then we have an open beta in January. Uh, and this one is mainly, mainly about uh, stress testing the game mm -hmm. to see like, on a broader scale all the online features and how the servers can support all of this. And eventually if we identify some other, I would say, gameplay uh, modification that needs to be done, mm -hmm. that would be some first insight for future free patch, for example. Sure. Are you thinking about how to onboard uh, players who are Dragon Ball fans, but maybe they don't have a lot of experience with fighting games? Is there a tutorial or practice mode? Yeah, definitely. There will be this kind of feature in the game. And generally speaking, I mean, if you get your hands on the game, even from the first match you're doing, even if you don't know fighting game, I mean, believe me, you can already have fun. You can already trigger some impressive attack. Mm -hmm. And you can already experience and enjoy this whole Dragon Ball identity and feeling. So the good thing is that <laughs> I would say there's really... <laughs> yeah, we told you it was the best one. <laughs> yeah. There's really <laughs> like two layers of gameplay, I would say. Two layers in, into one gameplay. You have a first one that you can enjoy, even if you don't know fighting game. Mm. And then a second one that is way deeper with combination of combos, with chain, with more intricate uh, attacks that you can enjoy if you're, uh, I would say, a better player used to, to fighting games. Very cool. Once again, like I, I don't think you can overstate how <laughs> cool the game looks. <laughs> really looks amazing. Yeah, it's it's out awesome. next year? Is there, a, is there a release date? Yeah, actually this morning oh we've cool. just announced that it's going to be released on uh, February 2018. Oh, cool. So a few months to wait. Mm -hmm. All right. But very, very excited to, to, to release the game and to see the whole community playing that and enjoying this, this unique Dragon Ball experience. Yeah, I bet. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming by the show. Thank you. Thank we you very much. You. The game is Dragon Ball Fighters. It looks awesome. Stay tuned. More to come from IGN Live at Gamescom after this.